Hey everybody, welcome to another Infinity Code 1 Battle Report. Today I'm back with Jordan and we are running through a first game with Operation Black Wind. This is the new two-player battle box uh, for Infinity Code 1 from Corvus Belly. Now this features the Ayla faction and Hakaslam faction finally being added into the mix. And if you haven't watched the Let's Play on Code 1, you can go up here in the cards. I'll link it above for the original one I did, um, where we had the sort of Panoceania Winter 4 fighting against Yu Ching. So now, uh, with three of these boxes having come out, we had Nomads in the previous one and facing up against Ariadna. We have a wide gamut of factions available, and you've basically got the ability to throw down with um, a huge, like a kind of like a, uh, a vanilla or sort of like generic mix of models across that range. So this features a lot of models from the Steel Phalanx, but um, we also have the Dire Foes box, which has a couple of extra characters. In uh, this one, it's Trisha N33 um, and the Doctor, who are from the Defiance box set. They're available for the first time. And we're going to throw down um, the uh, Domination mission using just what comes in the box. You can see it at a 15 point level. So if you're interested in trying out code one, the rules are free. I'll link them below. Um, the full rule book is available online for free. And everything that's true in Infinity Code One is true in Infinity N4. So if you learn to play code one, You'll add more rules when you play Infinity N4, which is sort of the full advanced kind of like Infinity game. Or you can just play this by itself. It is a wonderful firefight game. Actually, Mike from Epitech Studios prefers this version of the game because the mental load is really streamlined and it's still a really good sci-fi shooter. So we'll show you the table, we'll show you the models we painted up, and we'll get this underway. So here we are, checking out the Operation Black Wind box set. And there's everything that comes in the box here. So we've got, um, as well as actually the Darfos mission pack too. So you get your introductory booklet. Again, this will give you linked narrative missions that introduce the models as you go and teach you how to play. Um, I've gone through the one from the original Operation, oh, what was the first code one called? Icewind Dale, something like that. Operation, Operation Cold Ice Front? Storm. Ice No, Ice Storm was the Ice first time three. Oh, I don't know. What Cold that Front? Was. I can't no, remember. Cold it's, Front's after that. It's the one with the Winter Four and the um, Yu Ching. Oh, I that's don't Caldstrom. remember. Caldstrom, that's it. Thank you, Jordan, for being my brain. Um, we have the, oh, you're trying to go back for <laughs> no, 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 for the Code One ones. Operation Caldstrom, that's the one. Um, I've put together the Darpan Scenery Station Scenery Pack. Now, an interesting thing in in the past three box sets, these have been reversible with different patterns on the outside. This time around, they just made it reversible with the same pattern which I kind of actually liked because it meant I could put the stairs on different sides. Normally when you build something and you want it to look the same, the stairs will be on the same sides. But you'll notice my two big buildings, the stairs actually go up left and right as opposed to being just built to the right. I had a choice of doing it. It also meant I didn't mix up my pieces. I really enjoyed the versatility of the first two, but I mean, I couldn't screw it up as long as they all had the same number. I didn't accidentally put like the red side and the blue side facing out. And you would think that it was color coded. Wall. Yeah, I know exactly. You think it's color coded. Ash couldn't possibly screw this up. Never underestimate my ability to get these things backwards. Um, the one thing that was reversible was the public consoles though. You had a Xeno station security good and an alert on them as well, which was kind of neat. Um, and you get one, two, three, four hollows. And then I think it's two, four, six, eight walls on top of that. You get your scenery mat. Now this is the basic game size for 15 point games of um, of, of a, a code one. And that means you can play right out of the box. So literally we have the miniatures, we have the whole table of terrain, um, we have the booklets for the introductory rules. And if you want to grab them, this is the exact same rule book. It's free online. This is the code one rule book. And like I said, way more digestible than the Infinity rule book. It, it, it's under a hundred pages, including scenarios and a brief background section on the universe and stuff like that. So. Everything to play, all in one spot. Um, my favorite thing about this cardstock terrain is it also comes with all the counters you could possibly need to play code one with. You get 20 order markers, including two lieutenant orders. They all flip to be your unconscious tokens. They're probably the most versatile token these guys have made. You get prone markers, camo markers, wound markers, uh, TO camo markers, loaded and unloaded markers that I believe are also targeted and disconnected. Um, actually, sorry, the immobilized ones are A and B. And then you get your uh, supply box tokens. You get four objective markers that are also consoles. Your silhouette tokens, a blast and smoke token. Although there are no smoke and aids in grade one, but that's, a, that's useful in, in uh, Infinity N4. And your templates, as well as two measuring sticks. Everything about the code one box passes the Christmas morning test of. If I got this for my birthday or for Christmas, I could open it and literally be playing inside of like two or three hours. Just glue everything together, uh, snap these together. They just push fit with some simple instructions. They're actually, I would say the easiest, best looking cardstock terrain maybe on the market today from a major producer. Um, and now that there's three sets of these too, you get a nice variety as well as the upgrade pack that has the sniper tower and the um, objective room too. Uh, and you're ready to rock and roll. So we're gonna be playing Domination, uh, the mission in here, which is at 15 points. 
Uh, we're trying to do a minimum VP of 3.5. Uh, and we're going to do it by dominating quadrants. At the end of each game round, bef not before, the table is divided into four areas. Uh, each player checks how many quadrants he's dominating and counts their objective points. A quadrant is considered dominated by a player if they have more victory points. It's your point cost in it. Uh, you have to be in a non-token or null state to count. And markers that are things like mines don't count as anything. A trooper's inside if more than half their base is inside the quadrant. So dominate the same number as your opponent. It's one objective point. Dominate more than your opponent for two. And have hacked a console at the end of the game or one each. So um, the four consoles, they don't, they don't flip or anything like that. It's just have you hacked one. You get on a maximum of four from hacking each one. And then uh, you dominate by round basically for six more. So if you want to get to 10, you got to dominate more quadrants. And it's just these quadrants, right, to actually dominate. Um, and you dominate them each round for a maximum of two. And then you get four for hacking the consoles. Any specialist group can hack the console, so don't worry if it's a hacker or not. That means that your hackers, specialist operatives, doctors, engineers, and paramedics are considered specialist troops, uh, but you can't use peripherals to do it. And then it's three game turns to finish. Roughly 15 points in the box. Um, we've got my sort of steel phalanx themed a left painted up here. I got the new Hoplite HMG. We have a um, Ectromoy, who is a chain rifle hacker. Um, a Thrymeris? No, not Thrymeris. A Rios hacker uh, with the sword and the uh, SMG there, but she's actually got a boarding shotgun. Then I got my Gal Marks with a multi sniper rifle. I have three Thorakides. Uh, one's a paramedic, two are paramedics, sorry, with the um, SMGs. And the last one is just a guy with a combi rifle. Now, all right, so here is Jordan's 15 points using the Darfo uh, Raman Ruhani. Uh, we've got the other 14 points right from the starter. What do we got? Uh, I got three Dailamis, one with the rifle, two with the shotguns and any personnel mines. We got the aforementioned Raman Ruhani, the super doctor dude. Uh, Lazik with the sniper rifle. Uh, the Nadir with the submachine gun and marksman rifle. The Boktar with the Red Fury. I love the Boktar's backpack. He's so cool. S super chonk. Yeah. And uh, Bereed Hacker. Sweet. So you've got a drop troop, uh, you've got a Barid hacker, you've got three like Heidi de Lamies, a nice Heidi sniper. So you're playing kind of the Heidi game to my run forward and hope everything works out game here. Do you want to make um, the hack side into full 15 points? You just use the parachutist option for the jump troop there, um, which means that you are an extra point. So you're, you're filling in and showing off one of the Dark Force models. I couldn't quite fit them in because the steel phalanx are, are a lot more chunky and expensive than the hack guys are. We didn't just bring de we brought we brought dudes in like power armor. We also get Pandora in the box, but she's just an HVT um, in Code One. There's no profile for her, uh, although she does have a profile for Steel Phalanx only. Weirdly, in N4, uh, you get your dice. So we got our cool dice. I got my my Steel Phalanx dice, and we'll do a whip check right now for deployment. Deployment is eight inches up when we deploy. Hiya! I definitely failed. I succeeded. <laughs> All right, so you can choose to go first or second, or pick deployment side in deployment order. I'm gonna go first. That makes sense, okay. So you're gonna go first, I'll choose deployment side. I'm gonna deploy over here, because I'm lazy, and you can deploy first. We're deployed! So I've got my um, Hoplite HMG hanging out over here uh, with a paramedic uh, Thorakiti. Then I have another paramedic th Thorakiti prone, I'm out of prone markers though. My Gamma Marksman, um, my uh, combi rifle Thorakiti in cover, also prone. And then last but not least, my Thyreos. Who's advanced to play uh, plus eight inches on a 16 inch half of the table is effectively infiltration. Uh, she is not touching this marker because she's not allowed to. A prone cow marker, prone cow marker, prone cow marker, which are just totally not. Prone. Oh, just the one prone, sorry. The other ones are totally not De Lamis and whatever. Uh, the doc up here, uh, we've got, that's a Barid? Yeah, no, uh, that's the Nadir. This is the Nadir, sorry. And then back there is the Lasik. And the Barid is back behind. It's hiding right in the sand. There you go, right there. Uh, reserve mini for me is my Ectromoy, and reserve mini for you. Folk. There. Sweet. Keep him off. Uh, and then we are first turn to you, sir. So round one, uh, you've got seven orders on the table, I Eight. think. Eight. It's been an order. On this camo marker. Okay. And it's gonna be prone an inch and move for an inch. And then it's gonna reveal itself. Oh no, so I'm just gonna move for an inch, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm playing this game <laughs> the correct way today. Okay. And uh, so this guy's prone, yeah. so he can't see you. Uh, I don't think I have any. I will delay with her because she's a hacker and you're under zone of control, so she can't do anything right now. Because unless you have stealth, no, which no. means I can't do anything anyway. So I, I don't get an arrow if you have stealth. Okay, and he will use his second to appear as a Dilami and place a camo marker. 
Sweet. Uh, she will then, as you do that, react and target you. We'll check for my Thyreos. A three will do it. So you'll be targeted. So you are targeted. Stylamis are regular in code one. Sure are. No irregular troops in this. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to spend an order on this camo marker, and it's going to move an inch and then back an inch. All right, well, I'll check my zone of control. I don't think you're in it. You're not. And then we reveal to be another Dilami. Sick. And then we're going to put down another camo marker. Oh, I wonder what it could be. The <laughs> marksman can actually see you okay. as you place the mines. You reveal yourself. Uh, so I'm going to shoot you, I guess. Okay. Uh, he'll be bullets to skill 12. Uh, you're inside 16, so he's probably at zero range. Um, and then you got cover. So minus three plus zero, so on a nine. Nope, that's definitely a miss. And deer's gonna go. He's gonna move up into the corner here. Okay. Arrows. Oh, uh, well, he's prone, so I doubt he can see you. He's up against the no. thing, but the Agama can see you. Okay. I uh, will shoot you. I will shoot you. All right. Marks some rifles, so let's check range. This is eight, so eight to that little button right there, and then eight more means we're outside 16. S12 M6, well, I'm MSV2, so oh, no MIM, because well, I'm in a gamma. Point. Yeah. <laughs> so that's literally what I do. Uh, I'll be plus three for range, minus three for cover, so I'll be on 12 with double action. Also be 12, not okay. double action. 17 misses. Two hits with five No! Eights. All right, so uh, he's armor pretty good. Armor on Mr. Agamma Marksman is two, goes to five for cover. And you shot me with a Marksman Rifle. Marksman damage 13, so I need to beat a nine. Or nine or better. I'm good, 13 and 16. Uh, does he have courage? Nope, he's just gonna sit. Uh, he needs a whip 13 check to not get out of line of fire. He's fine. One again. All right, uh, on BS 13 actually too, oh. not even just 12. So one shot on a 12 or 13 against your two shots, 12. three shots. Five, Pretty good. Nine, two, oh! three hits. Oh my God, can I do it again? Nines. No, oh, I'm down. He goes. Yeah, four and a lieutenant order left. Um, lieutenant order? On the uh, Oktar. She's going to cruise right up into the front here. Uh, I don't think there's any arrows, but that's your call there. Is okay, I can't see anything. No, I don't think so. Uh, Everybody's and, prone. It could. Yeah, no. Um, just hang out in yeah. Overwatch. Yep. Yeah. Uh, turn it over there. Breed's gonna go. She will move four inches over here behind this box or room. I got nothing. Cool. And she'll do another four to get to this console. Go tap the button. Order. And then we're going to give her another order yep. to move. Do it again. And tap the button. And be like, back. why? <laughs> so. I choose to not be here anymore. <laughs> and also, I'm going to push this button. Boop. We're pretty good. 14. Whoa, That's potato. Locked. What would have been good? Would have been pretty good. Damn but... corners. Oh my god, stop doing yes. it. <laughs> Start over here. There we go. <laughs> no! Again? I mean, we know uh, she can get there now. Yeah, I just got two orders. I'm gonna see if there's anything I have to do otherwise first. Uh, we're gonna move... No, we can grab that later next turn. Um, yeah, let's try and do that again. Okay, so walk over and push. And if this fails too, then you've gotta walk back and push left. Yeah, she gets it. So you've got so one of four. Hop over this. I don't have a pitcher in this one, so I can't do that. So we are out. We're you go prone, or are you stand there? Uh, yeah, we'll go prone there. Okay. All right. Well, top of turn for me. I've got one, two, three, four, five orders on the table, which is not the best, not the worst. And a lieutenant. Order. All right. Well, let's start with Lieutenant Hoplite. Uh, he's just gonna go take a look at uh, Mr. Marksman rifle. Walk over here with his lieutenant order. Like, what's up, nerd? <laughs> I will uh, shoot back. I mean. Shoot, maybe I won't shoot you. Oh, cool. I'm, shoot you. I'm definitely shooting you <laughs> with my machine gun. I forgot your mid minus six. That's right. Yeah, so you'll be straight 12 plus three minus three. Uh, I'll be minus nine. So I'll be on fours. Five's pretty good. Got a crit? Don't. Uh, so I'll eat a round. Yeah. I'm armor three goes to six in cover. So I gotta beat an eight. Eight or better. Sorry. I'm good. 14. Okay, well, at least he's in the game. <laughs> he can do something maybe later. Uh, Mr. Thorakiti, I need you to uh, just 
crawl for zero and then shoot some medical bullets into that guy. Medical bullets at plus three for range. That's gonna fail. Whoosh. Medical bullets again. Do it. We do. Now he has to pass a fizz check or he's dead. Yeah, Marksman, you're fizz 11 at least. So let's see if uh, just shooting you full of, of enriched amphetamines. ALF no. amphetamines works. It does. Oh, he lives. All right, well, now it's time to, to do the crime. Uh, that guy's not fizz. There's a cam marker here that could do something. If I combat drop here, I think we'll be best. So that's what I'm gonna do. Some Fizz 13 with Mr. Ectromoy, and this is on his own order. Oh, that's a good Fizz. Shows up with a one. Tell us you can try and dodge and stuff. We're gonna try and do some dodge chain facings with like everybody. Sick. Ruhani on probably not very good. I'll check it if it's anything under 10. Oh, that that's possible. But Maybe, probably, it failed because uh, you're out of line of sight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the big super jump guy might have a good fizz though. Tars on 13, but he has plus three dodge, so he'll be a 13 in the first place. Eight. So we will do one of these. Where you at, son? Looking where you're probably going to come. And yep. then the Lazique will probably be like 11 or 10. This will be a big miss. She does nothing. That's important. All right, speaking of which, <laughs> let's do some crimes with that guy. Uh, which means to say, let's walk around. Shooping to whooping. And, uh, and say hello to Mr. Lazique. We're gonna duck back when it's all said and done. Okay. We're gonna dodge with Ruhani uh, for his own control, and that's probably it. Okay. He isn't, he's already turned. You're not happy with him? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not crazy about it, but... Uh, I'm gonna try with her again, actually, too. Okay, because, yeah, I'm gonna shoot you in the back yeah, of the Yeah, I just think it's like, mm. <laughs> oh, that's not great. Let's we'll start with her, 13. Sure. She's good, so she's gonna do... Keep the pie on him, yeah. Keep the pie on the hoplite, because I was just about to be like, well, hello. Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm double chain rifling you in the back. Okay. Then you can dodge. Uh, and Ruhani on, like, 10 or 11 or something. Does it. will be good. He will... Crawl, uh, can he stay prone in this move? Sure, yeah. He's this is the dodge, yeah. Dodge, yeah. B, B dodge is half the range, right? That's fine. Try and do something else again. Sweet, I'm into it. Uh, and then, yeah, so she's got to do one dodge against these stupid things. That's My streak like, is out of line of sight. Like a seven or an eight I'm going to need. Six? Maybe. Like, okay. She's good, sweet. Um, all right, so I don't have any dodging bonuses. Um... I don't want you to do that again. <laughs> I would like to How many no orders do you have left? So, sorry? How many orders do you have left? Uh, I have two orders left, and remember we test control at the end of this turn. You gonna dodge over the wall? Yeah. Smart. Do, like, facing this... She's facing backwards for forwards. Yes. So that if you try again, I will shoot you. But I don't think you're gonna do that, but... You never know. I mean, just never know. I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna give him another order, though. And he's going to walk into melee over here. Dr. Ruhani. Dr. Ruhani. So you're going to SMG with him? Yeah. What's he going to do? He going to do, she going to do, and this camera. Oh, gracious. Do. Okay. He's going to... Oh, sorry. He's right. in zone of control, right? She can probably actually see me. Cam marker's definitely able to see me because yeah. it's 360. Right. This is going to be weird. Okay. Yep. Shoot. You're tough. Shoot. Shoot. Reveal and shoot. Sure. So, um, he is facing the wrong way. Oh, uh, mine? That's fine, yep. Well, it'll detonate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just It's in zone of control, it'll definitely detonate. Yep. Yep. Mine, uh, he is facing the wrong way, so he can't do anything. But I'm in zone of control, he can dodge, yeah. Okay. So, he's going to try and dodge. Okay, so, I'm going to double chain rifle and try and hit four guys. Hit these three with the chain rifle. So, the dock and these two. Uh, uh, or I could split it and hit the dock twice and everybody else once. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to split it and hit the dock twice and everyone else once because it's burst two. So I'm going to do that. So these guys, he'll get hit twice because I'll, I'll shoot it when I'm like standing here and hit cone that way and then I'll do cone this way. Okay. Seven. So his dodge, yep, minus three. No. So he eats two, he eats one round. We'll Damage 13, now. yep. He's good. He's good. Laughs it. Uh, courage. He's fine. 
Uh, can I change? I can't change anything though now, can I? Can I change facing? Yeah, you can change facing, yeah. I can't remember if that was. Yeah, because I survived. Lady here, she's going to shoot. Shooting? Yeah, go for uh, it. 14 to hit with a rifle. Nope. You dummy. <laughs> uh, she she was minus looking. for being at short range with a rifle? No, she's at zero. Oh, she'd be at zero, that's right. Yeah, Sorry, she's inside eight. Yeah, that's okay. Right. Uh, yeah, she's not a shotgun. And the armor roll? Uh, nope. She's done. Unconscious. Uh, your doc. Doctor, doctor, he's gonna shoot you with AP on a fourteen. Uh, he is, a, is it Kami? He's a sub gun. Oh, that's SMG. There you go, plus three. Hits you. Okay. Uh, armor two goes to one. Nope, takes a wound. And my dude, Ruhani, it's fine. Uh, twice. He gets hit right. twice. And the other one. Uh, armor two. I'm not. He sure. got six. He's unconscious. And then uh, Floppy Mick Jump Guy. Yes. Dexter almost got two wounds. No, no, he'll be dead at the end of this. Oh, yeah. okay, or he'll be sorry. unconscious at least. Yeah, I was like, yeah. damn. I got I got a shrug of mine still when this is all said and done. That's also true. I forgot about the mine. Yeah. Uh, I'll check your PS in a second. That's going to be a hit. Sure. Red Fury. Red Fury? No, that's going to be a okay. okay. And, and then he gets an armor roll. No, he gets yeah, armor yeah, roll because he gets hit by a template. Uh, armor three, I think. 14? Should be good. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely three. He's it's armor three? Like, yeah, she's heavy on control. Okay, so. and then over here, you get one she's more shot. Four. You get one more shot with her. Oh, yeah, shotgun. Lot uh, zeros to 11. Nope. And then armor roll for her. Nope. So she's going to also have him as a friend. So there's no way to do both those things at the same time. So I think I'm just going to spend this last order trying to remove a piece. And I think it's going to be a gamma, and we're going to try and fix problem child over here. So we're just going to idle. We're going to slide back slightly. I'll just shoot. Nah, you know, we'll stay where we are. Can you shoot back? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I have... Am I burst two now with the anti-material? I sure am, so I might as well. Because uh, burst mode just doesn't get using unless you have armor. So I'll use my plus... Uh, I could stand back. I could actually go backwards if I want to, but you get me out of cover then. This isn't a terrible idea. You're good inside 24 though. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm actually gonna move backwards. Are you zero at 16? No, you're plus three still at 16. Yeah, right? 16, 16 and 24. Maybe. Oh no, we're at 16. We're we're in, we're in good range. We already measured that. That's right. Um, so yeah, I'll just stay where I am, and I will two shots da. So I'm 16 goes to 13 with two shots. You need a 12. Ew. Five will get you. Double action. Uh, armor four effectively right now. Damage 15. He is good. No, no 15's down. Good. Not enough. Just Match. enough. All right, and that's my round. So now scoring, it looks like we're going to have two zones each, and that's going to put us at one objective point. You got four orders and a lieutenant order now. Where's going to go? LT order. Move down to here. Are we visible at the bottom of the stairs? I don't think anybody can see you. He definitely couldn't because his line of sight's like blocked by this. Oh, this he would have seen you at the top probably. This butt can see me. Uh, he's prone. Yeah, he can see you now for sure. I will shoot him then. Okay, he'll shoot you back. So we're probably inside 16. Yes. Just, yep. So uh, it's going to be plus three for range. Uh, you're still in cover, so minus three for cover. So I'm on, I think, a 12. I'll be 13s, four dice for Red Fury. Missed. Uh, two hits. Two hits. Damage 13. Armor yep. two goes... Actually, I think they're armor three. Three goes to six. So I'm going to need to beat a 13. I need eights. Nope. Unconscious. It's a red fury, right? So it's shock? No, there's no shock in There's this. no shock in this. Okay, so just unconscious. Check to see if I was targeting you. I cannot. Two... The target dial on me? He's gonna move... Four up to here. You can retarget me, I guess, if you want. You're still targeted. I guess I could dodge. Change facing. I don't. Okay. And then he will move to not quite the corner, so he's not actually out. Got it. Okay. Uh, I will then dodge with him, I guess. Uh, minus three. I will fail. I'm an 11. Another order on him. He's going to come around this corner. Two and back. Okay. And shoot. Or sorry, you get to AR. I'll there. shoot you with my boarding shotgun. I will shoot and I'll you use light shotgun and light shotgun. Oh, okay. Uh, I will shoot you with. Sorry, I'll shoot you with my pistol then here. Or you have a light shotgun. Yeah. 
So you could template. Are you te uh, I, You could template sorry, mode I'm me. Sorry. Yeah, so I'm going to dodge with her, and I'm going to dodge with him. I'm going to dodge with this guy as well. She's actually going to shoot you. She's going to shoot you with her boarding shotgun template. Uh, he's going to dodge, and then he's going to dodge as well. Roll for you, 14. He's dead. Unconscious, yeah. Oh, yeah, so down. Uh, armor roll for her. Damage 13. She's armor 2. Uh, nope, she's unconscious 2. And then dodge for this Jabroni on an 11. Passes with a crit. And then dodge for him at minus 3 because he can't see you for an 8. No, he's going to fail. Okay. Two left. So one to the Lazique. She's going to move 4 to this wall. Okay, can't see with anybody, I don't think. Cool. Mm -hmm. Here. Try to stay on the side of the hoplite. And then we'll give her her last order. Okay. To shimmy shammy and shoot the hoplite. Fight the hoplite? Cool. He'll shoot you back. Uh, no. Inside 16, so we're both at zero. Yep. Minus three for cover. You have mimetism though, right? Yes. So I'll be minus six for a seven. Seven to nine. I assume you're using DA because I why? You have a regular sniper, I last year. I do not. I have what would have been a viral sniper. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Now a plus one damage. A plus one damage right. rifle. Got it. Got it. Damage 16 though. I missed. Uh, one of those. Nope, those are both misses. Yeah. I need to in the zone now, too, so you had your points in there, which is nice. Yeah. Uh, okay, so top of two over. I took some casualties. So I've got one, two, three, four orders on the table. And Lieutenant, Rourke, much like you. Well, let's make it easy. <laughs> You're gonna shoot a gun. <laughs> so, first order, mm, blast some medical bullets into her. We do! And then she's got to pass a Fizz 10 test. Oh, I think she's dead. Melt. Whip 13, but she's not Fizz 13, so she's extra super dead. Well, Lieutenant Order, let's uh, lean out and talk to Sniper Lady. Coop. Arrows. Shoot you with my Riper Sniper. I will shoot you with my heaviest of machine guns. Anyway, I start blasting. I'm on a 13, goes to uh, 7. No, I'm plus, no, we're inside good range, which means yeah, I'm at so bad range. Zero is your minus six total. Yeah, minus six. I'm on sevens as well. I have to crit. Nope. Huzzah! I was 16, armor six, I need to roll 11. Oh, potato. Would have been, been, been good. I know. Nah, I think a wound. <laughs> take a round. Flash, just do the mission, man. <laughs> let's walk. Cause nobody can see this line, and he's dead. So let's just walk over to this button. So we're going to go four, and then four again. Take up that spot. That is correct. Uh, another one, second to last. We're gonna push that button. And fail! But at least we're there now. So we're gonna go out and in, staying out of line of sight, and we're gonna shoot medical bullets at that guy. And can you facing get like to where you that. can see him without getting shot by my boat tar? I'm pretty sure I can. All right, so plus three to hit, and I miss. <laughs> Sweet. You and medics are not going well today. <laughs> nope, that was my last order, so hooray! All right, I have... Uh, so well, we score, oh, so yeah. I have one, two zones, you have one, two zones, so we score one again. Sweet. We got two each. Okay. Final round! Three plus... You're up, you're up by a console right now. He's gonna go? One little shoop shoop. <laughs> Keep shooting me. Right for sniper <laughs> Cool, I'm going to dodge. Okay, nines. Thirteen. Six. Six. Oh, it was a nine. Come on. I passed. Okay. So I'm going to cancel that and then just get it all on site. Okay. Where we were with our lieutenant order. And hide like yeah. a hero. <laughs> like, I'm in this zone. <laughs> use the other half of his movement to go prone and face okay, so the I stairs. Can, I can see you, remember? Oh, sorry. During that I move. Was, I can see him? I thought that was like the whole point was like we couldn't see each other there. Uh, I moved him during the last turn, remember? Oh. I moved him to come get in the gunfight. Okay. She's 6'2". Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop, yep, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, my silhouette can totally see that corner. No. Ain't no mimetism. I'm just going to double action you. I'm, I assume if this was outside 16, then the, this other one probably is too. So, 8. Oh, no, actually, I think you're in. No, yeah. And eight, I'm, yeah. I'm, so, I'm at 0 range. And I'll be good range, so I'll be 13 straight I'll be up. 10. Yeah, one dice on 10, double action. 6 will cancel your 6. So 2 hits, power 13. Ooh, armor two. Uh, take a wound. Okay. So that was this order and this order, and I have two left. Um, I'm gonna be pretty bold here, and this bereed is going to move. 
Uh -oh. four inches. Arrows. I can't see anybody. Slick. She's gonna move four inches. And with her last order, she's gonna Oh, I'm gonna dodge now. Oh, yeah, okay. On a ten. Go. Great. And then she's going to move over to this console and slap at a base. And hit the button. I'll move the button. I can't tell if that's flat or not. <laughs> it's not, unfortunately. <laughs> I think we should go back to the other. <laughs> I know, but I like the convenience of taking it fast. I like the convenience of us being separated by this. That's thing. into each other's dice. That's what usually happens, though, is we knock over the good roll and we both have to stare at each other for a second and be grumpy. So I feel like this. <laughs> it's it solves it solves many problems. It seems like the single dice is what keeps doing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? If we roll a bunch of dice, it feels like it's okay. It's like I'll throw these. It's like one dice. It's the, the green you keep putting the backspin. It's the backspin you keep putting into it where it like doesn't do it. Right. So you boop for two. Yep. Uh, and then I have to try and so you're at four total right now So I have to get you out of zones and also maybe claim a console this guy's standing up. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. He is, yeah, okay All right, I got one two three orders. Nothing's nothing's great. Everything's terrible and a lieutenant order All right. Well, we got one play here and the play is murder everything. So lieutenant order I'm gonna go look out just to slice the pie to see this guy, but not her. Uh, I'm gonna hack him Cool, and what's this guy gonna do? He's gonna shoot you. Okay, I'm going to fill you with bullets. Carbonite down, yep. makes the sense. Uh, Whip whatever. 14. Sure Black. did. I think I pass. ds 3 that one, first one passed, but double action. No, so I'm gonna be Lock immobilized down. A. And then the Bree, or the bulk tar. Yep. Hit Fails. Uh, she's got limited to them. Yeah, yeah, you're minus three, minus six, I'm plus three for range, so I'll be on 16s, go to 10s. Take crap. three HMG rounds. Uh, she's armor seven right now. So I need uh, nine, 15 six, versus, yeah, yeah nine, nine. Nine for 16, yeah. Uh, Take it takes one, one wound. Okay. I got three orders to finish this off. So this is how we do it. <laughs> we have a lot of good choices here, but we have choices. Uh, so we're gonna go four, walking around the corner here. Did staying I kill that side. dude? No, no, this one's still alive. This is the one from back here. Oh, oh, he's going right. He's going right. Ran over. Yeah. Medic somebody. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Arrow. Um, I don't think he would see me. Probably not. No. No. Okay. Try and push the button. Nope. <laughs> I really need you to do that with the first order, buddy. <laughs> All right. So that was one, two. We're gonna come around the mountain. Four. Ah, just not four. Just come around to two. Okay. To see this guy, but stand cover. I will. Shoot that dude with my uh, boat tar. Okay, I'm gonna shoot you with my SMG, and we're in eight. Right. Pistol, cool. So I'll be at plus three minus six. Yes, because military. Okay, so I'll be at plus three minus six, which means that I need a nine with three dice. I need a straight thirteen with one. Hit. Ah, uh, armor. Twelve. Seventeen will be back. Nice. Really need that button. So going for it. Balls out. I mean. It, it doesn't I have, matter, I guess, even if I all, shoot. All that matters now is killing you, so... Because I'm already in this zone, I can't push a console now. So, I'm. you're at four, I'm at two. I need to flip this to tie. The plan was get one point here and then flip this to win, but now it's just flip this to tie. So I'm just gonna stay where I am and just slide back. Arrows. I will shoot you with my pistol again. Ah, uh, you know what, sorry, I'm gonna slide back all the way back into this one. Okay, I'm still gonna shoot you. Okay. So I'm on, same thing, nines to your, Oops. not nine. Uh, eight will hit you. Oh, yeah. AP. Uh, okay, so I'm down to two plus three is five. So you need to roll a nine for a 14. Ah! No! Oh, you're down. All right, so that will do it because I'm going to hold one, hold two, hold more. I this one. Uh, I'm 40 points. Oh, right. I forgot you passed the card. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still alive. Um, so I'm going to hold one, hold two, and you're going to hold one. Uh, so I'm going to get two and go to four as well, and that's going to tie. Because you got two consoles, and you got two tied rounds, and I got, I scored 
the max for one round and we tied the other two rounds, but I didn't get any consoles because this idiot couldn't pass a whip check. <laughs> there it is, 15 points on the Operation Black Wind Domination. I really like this mission at this table size because it means everybody counts for a lot. You can't really throw away pieces. It does yeah. kind of like pump even the like, brakes. Even the Dilamis were like, oh, I'm so used to just throwing them away. I know. Caring, but it's like, you're a regular ordinary. I know, exactly. You yeah. something. Yeah, and their minds locked down the whole middle of the table. They were actually super useful yeah. just doing what they were yeah. doing. Um, it's a really interesting dynamic shift, but it does, I think, for guys like me and Jordan who've played a lot of N4, we have to pump the brakes on things we think we know and yeah. then play the game really differently, which I really enjoy because the thing with Code 1 is it's a lot like being able to get uh, specific reps from a part of an N4 game in over and over again. So like a bunch of N4 games let you play like combos and tactics that you wouldn't, you'd only get to do like once a game basically, but you could play like two or three games of it in a night. So I'm, I'm really big on code one as if you, even if you just play N4 as a way of like practicing the maneuvers and practicing slicing the pry and practicing thinking about how you declare your arrows and stuff like that. It's a, it's an interesting microcosm. So there it is, 15 points from Operation Blackwind, some neat new stuff, great new sculpts, and of course, if you just want an instant table in a box to get you started on Infinity, then Great Long Train too. So there we go, Operation Black Wind, our first 15 point game, with Jordan and I coming to a draw at the end. Really close order count at the end there. And if I just managed to flip one more console with that Thor KD, he had two chances, three chances, and beefed it each time, um, it might have been a different game overall. Uh, we'll see if more Code 1 in the future. We're, we're coming to the end of Frozen Roads, ITS 13, so I'll probably do a few more Code 1 battle reports with Mike from Uptech Studios. Um, and kind of bridge the gap uh, and maybe one more ITS season 13 game too until the new one comes out. Really excited about it and obviously there's gonna be more stuff in the future. So until then I'm Ash, have a good day. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games already recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already and have a look to the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week, and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Death Ray Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements like Last Days, Gamma Wolves, and Blaster. As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching, it really does help out, and happy gaming.